one of the best soccer players in the world, Erling Holland, is in the building. What's it like being you, bro? To be honest, it's really nice. <laughs> you can kick the ball at a thousand miles an hour. And you're a lefty. Do you have a favorite foot? You and your questions, man. <laughs> <laughs> it was natural for me to like football, but I really wanted to become better than my father. Because yeah. you're dead pissed. You have to ask him. <laughs> you used to watch KSI. Yeah, I watched a little bit when I was younger, yeah. Oh, cast. <laughs> Do you ever look at TikTok of yourself? No. I will not go home after this now, searching my name on TikTok to see if there's any videos of me walking on the street. No, I will not do that. Oh, whoa. whoa. So the noise you're hearing, the commotion, is Erling Holland and his team leaving. We did the podcast with Erling Holland. Yes. And now we're taking a second to, uh, to start. Uh, we just want to give an intro. Um, so if you want to skip to Erling Holland. <laughs> Your stupid, inconsistent starting. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. Start skip skip to the early Holland part. But otherwise, here we are. Me, Mike, and yes, JJ, KSI. Hi, wow, it's in me. The building. Just 24 hours ago, John Fury was kicking over tables at our press conference. Yep. Just decided, you know what? I've had enough. <laughs> I need all the attention on me today. Uh, I'm kicking tables. I'm showing everyone that I am the boss. How do you, how do you feel about that? Because I'll be honest, JJ, I think he's a legend. I thought he was jokes. I thought he was jokes. It was kind of annoying that he kicked my table because I was like, all right, then if we're going to go, we're going to fucking go then. Let's do it. And uh, I saw Tommy was just like, what the fuck is going on? I, <laughs> how do you think he feels about it? Yeah, that's, He's like, imagine, dad, that's my dad. <laughs> just dad, stop. stop you're embarrassing me. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you always like, do this, imagine, Dad? Like, could you imagine if that was GP? And he was like, oh, just I can't even shit. imagine my dad doing that. Like, it's just a, a surreal thought. G GP's real close to doing some No, he's shit doing like that, that anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but John Fury takes it to a whole new level. Yeah, and then bro. he hopped on, on social media and was like, I'm sorry, things got out of hand. You yeah. know, it's the fight game. Like, yeah, it had a bit of wine. <laughs> <laughs> but I think he knows what he's doing. He's yeah, yeah, just making the press conference 15 minutes <laughs> when it was meant to be an hour <laughs> yeah but that's kind of good right like give him a little bit yeah yeah get People those viral more. clips yeah yeah I, I got a cake of of dylan danis well you managed to hit his face as well yeah bro <laughs> bro <laughs> with, legit, his, with his face bro i took th the head <laughs> that cake was phenomenal bro I, i'm glad phenomenal. you said phenomenal it was seven thousand bro even the little camel toe as well yep i made it beautiful just like he is just a Beautiful camel toe knocked out the bouncer that choked him out outside yeah, of the club. Yeah, so you brought I him. found him, yep. I flew him to London and hired him as my personal security. And and the reveal we did was in the face to face. Mm. I can't wait for that to come out. Yeah, because when Dylan showed up to this face to face, dude, I'm not just saying this to be like a tough guy, man was melting a puddle of a man yeah, yeah. he locked himself in his room for 30 minutes showed up late was ghosting us and then, yeah, yeah. And then we, we went, went on the live yeah we yeah. shamed him yeah, yeah. And come, he came down he's forced him out nervous and sweating and then and then i revealed the security i did a whole bit and uh i think it's coming out fight week so we got a while yeah, oh, got that's, away it's a while. that far up i could see why he's a twitter warrior no bro. i was just yeah, gonna ask he ain't, he ain't like he ain't about it in real life he's just nope. he's just a fucking whiny fake liar but just yeah, but man. just as an outsider to it just like asking the question like do do people know like the people that follow him, do people know that everything he says is a lie or do they think that it's real? Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like when you see the stuff he writes where he's like, low, uh, the police escorted me out of the Yo. thing. Like when you see yeah. that, do some people think that he's nah, telling them, the there truth? There must be some stupid people who think it, he's telling the truth all the, the time. The problem is he's he's super vocal. Like, yeah. he, dude, he really be sitting on a couch. Yep. Tweeting yeah. every five he's minutes. He's king of Twitter. Just it, laughing to himself like, oh, Twitter. this will get him. No, no, for sure. He's good at he's no, fucking he's good, at good at Twitter, bro. Twitter. If I had yeah. that time or like interest, you know what I think it is? I don't kind of mean, but I really think this is it. He's getting a sense of validation right now that he mm. just hasn't in so long. And this attention's yeah. giving him that that feeling of fullness that mm. he hasn't had. And so like that's his home base. That's his happy place. In person, you see him melt in front yeah. of you. It's why he shows up late. It's why he's sweating. It's why he's having like a panic attack or hard time stumbling but through a sentence. Why doesn't he just now that especially now that Elon started paying pretty decent, why doesn't he just do Twitter? Like he could be a really good like Twitter pundit. Like imagine he got into the political game or like became a well, food I, reviewer. I don't, I don't know if Twitter like really that. pays that much. It doesn't. I, bro, how, much I, how much did you get? Bro, I'll how show you. you I'll show you. I'm going to whip it out. So I've, you know, I get pretty good Im impressions. I'd say like in the hundreds of millions. Yeah. And yeah. Um, bro, monetization, I'm going into it. How much I've got for August 
the whole of August, $1,590. So, I mean, he could get like an apartment in Denver with that if he, you know. What, for a month? Uh, maybe not even. Maybe like yeah, Tuscaloosa. But, no, it's, it's so there are going to be people that are like, you got $1,500 from Twitter, uh, which is cool. And yeah, great. But, yeah, but, yeah. But, but comparatively is what we're saying to other platforms for hundreds of millions on YouTube. That's that's hundreds of thousands of dollars. Oh my God, yeah. Like I'm laughing yeah, on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, yeah. yeah, whereas on Twitter, I'm like, all right. Cool. Yeah. I want to ask you something. Mm. We haven't had this conversation, but mm. back when you and I were beefing, yes, before the prime card, yeah, before the beard, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> huh. uh, uh, when we were going back and forth, there was some girlfriend partner talk. Yes, right? yes, for trolling. You're, yeah, you're, yeah, you're yeah. Trying yeah, to rattle yeah. your opponent. Yeah, yeah. And Dylan is doing that, but do you think he's gone too far? I think he, well, I guess for his point of view, he's going to be like, oh, all's fair in love and war. You know what I mean? But I think for him, it's just been relentless, man. Like, it's just been constant, like, every day, every single day. And yeah, I don't know. I think now knowing what I know and like how I am now, I feel like it's, it's a line that's being crossed. And like, it got to period where he started you know going at my girlfriend and started looking for pictures of my girlfriend that she's a person that's very private mm. who she doesn't mm. care about the fame yeah. she just wants to just keep to herself so when he was going down that route that's when i, I was like bro like you're not even fighting me like what is going on so again and i, I, I that's why i'm like for you it's like why doesn't he just focus on you he's fighting you Yo, essentially, he's attacking and, an uninvolved third party, a woman, yeah, and it's yeah. all he has. And, and I, I get it. All is fair in love and war. Yeah, but sort of because I even look at myself and I go, the amount of dirt I have on Dylan just sitting in my phone, the yeah. amount of people who fucking hate this guy who send me stuff to, but do I want to go there yeah. about his yeah, mom, yeah, his relatives, yeah, yeah. his sister, his cousins? Like, like do. Especially his I feel mother. Like, like, I do feel I like, want to do that? I feel like that's something a, yeah, a young version of us would totally, do. Yeah, totally, totally. Right. Whereas it. now it's like, bro, we're, you know what? We're, we're adults now. And it's kind of just like, we don't need But that. also, like I said, two, two months out from the fight, it's not like you're getting into his head to like hold him over. for Like two months from now, it's going to look like a very different thing. And, and mm. also, to the point of it being relentless and being this, uh, this single part attack that has been validated by this. this b by the way, I told you this the other day. This happened at a very special point in time on Twitter. Mm. The red pill, get the girls back in the kitchen, mm. take away their voting rights. Like mm. that whole community is very strong yeah, right now. Yeah. Slut shaming. Yeah, yeah, yo, yeah, don't yeah, ever man. date a girl who's yeah. got more than one body. Yeah, like, all yeah. this, just, you know what I'm saying? It's just super this weird fantasy, shit. Yeah, this whole yeah. fantasy world. Every girl's a virgin. But it's, it's fine for guys to yeah, just yeah, yeah. sleep around. So that's, center. that's yeah, big. Yeah, yeah. So I said, yo, perfect storm. Yeah. This all happened and gave Dylan the opportunity to come up during a very important yeah. red pill you know, sector and it wouldn't have worked in any other time. Mm. But my, the thing for me was not to be a dick, but there was a lot of ways he could have fucking talked shit to you. Oh my you are, God. You are I'm so potentially roastable. one of the easiest targets I'm so in roastable. the fucking world. You could say, and, you could and say anything. So there's really no other excuse to go after and a defenseless woman mm. at this relentless level. I thought, yeah, I think yeah. it's disgusting. It's I understand just, yeah, fight promotion. Yeah, yeah. It's working well for the fight, even though the fight's not till 2062. <laughs> everything you're fucking saying is going to be fucking forgotten, okay? But there definitely was other shit to talk about. Like, bring up some other stuff, dude. Give the girl a fucking break. That's where I'm at. Actually. Yeah. But. Anyways, yeah, 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 yeah. Nina's, she's a fucking angel, bro. And so yeah. I don't feel like going online. She's and, like the but, nicest person. I think for him, he, he was hoping he would try break you guys. But if anything, it's probably made you guys stronger. So much yeah, stronger. So it's talk, like, talk, it's a hell for him. I yeah. love this girl yeah. so fucking much. Yeah. Nothing will get between us. Not some fucking fake lying oh. internet troll whose life has devolved to pretending to be a fighter, stalking women, harassing them, and p plastering them on his social media. He's a fucking loser, bro. Yeah. An empty, unaccomplished, unfulfilled loser. And I, <laughs> if he shows up, yeah, if he shows bro, up, yeah, I get to end him. Oh, it's going to be the happening. greatest day if he actually shows up. I want you to annihilate. I got him, you, bro. JJ. <laughs> Please, bro. For the love of everyone watching, like it's going to be the greatest thing. <laughs> Poor Erling Holland podcast just got hijacked. It's uh, right now. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, isn't that starting right I now? I think it's starting right now. Ah! Who's playing gangster rap, dude? Is it British rap? Is it is it British drill? UK drill? 
No, no, you you've go got the perfect yeah, podcast bro, come on. voice. Oh, yeah. Yo, yeah. yo, but in real life, it's so annoying. Right? Yeah, but only for podcasts. But in po- it's, it has that rasp to it. I haven't been there for too long, so I don't know. I, I don't know if it's annoying or not. If you were here for long enough, you'd just hear Mike talking. <laughs> Just talking the whole time. <laughs> hey, you better get some context by the of what he said if we're rolling. Oh, how long have we been rolling? Well, only 30 seconds. Did we get the compliment from Erling about my podcast voice? Is that? I don't think we did. I don't think we did. <laughs> and and even, if we, even if we did, we're going to delay it. Delay it. Delay it. Yeah, please. <laughs> it's been a crazy day. Yeah. It's been a crazy day. Pretty wild, man. She, I don't even know how to start this. Like, like all right. <laughs> I'll give it a shot. Welcome back to Impulsive, the number one podcast in the world. Thank you guys for listening, watching, viewing, and subscribing. We have a crazy day. It's a we got a star-studded cast today. We got KSI as the co-host on this episode, which is which is a thing in itself. And then I can't believe I'm saying it. Erling Holland is in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Unreal. One of the best soccer players in the world. Welcome, welcome. We're so excited to have you, dude. Thank you. It's uh, it's nice to be here with you guys. Yeah, and, we came uh, we came all the way with uh, with his jersey beside him. <laughs> <laughs> I always like that, especially after the video as we as we just saw. So yeah. Yeah, no, I thought I'd obviously represent, but uh, yeah, we we recorded a video. Well, I recorded a video to Harland saying that he was not gonna win any cups last season, no trophies. He's gonna be trophyless. 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 <laughs> and uh, yeah, I was like, no Champions League. No Premier League. And this is when Arsenal was flying, bro. We were just number one. We were just killing it. And then obviously FA Cup was like, you're not going to win all. And then guess what happened? He won everything. He won everything, bro. (laughs) It's because of your video, JJ. Honestly, he even said it was like it gave me motivation. To make sure I scored more goals. Well, Doug, you sent it to him personally. Yeah. It wasn't like a public thing. Yep. It was directly to Erling Holland. Uh-huh. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Do you do that Great. type of thing a lot? Do you just <laughs> bully? Yeah, yeah, why did you do that? Why did you bully Erling? No, <laughs> yeah, why me? Why, what did I do? You? But, but, you know, I was feeling myself, man. I, you know, sky high, also was smashing it. I was like, you know what? I'm going to post this and send it to him. And it's going to be nothing. And all of a sudden, yeah, man, just <laughs> he just just he turned into the robot, bro. That's what they call him on online, bro. The robot. He just don't miss. He had to, have he, you heard that before? Yeah, yeah, the yeah, robot. So the robot, yeah. Oh my you, have, you have the goals record, right? Uh, in the Premier League, yeah, I got the 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 record. The record was thirty two in the thirty eight games, and then uh, there was a thirty four goal. Uh, with a couple more games, so yeah, I got thirty six. Yeah. So he, he did he it. Beat in, both of them. He did it in the first <laughs> season, bro. And it's crazy. I'm sure you saw all the videos of people saying like, "There's no way you're going to be able to just score that many goals." Yeah, of course. People yeah. call the the. I came from the farmer league or whatever you want to. <laughs> yeah, to call uh, Germany, uh, and I will struggle a lot and uh, and things like that. But. Uh, <laughs> it was it was a nice season in the end, uh, and uh, and I enjoyed it. Yeah. Attention, all my bearded beasts from stubble to mane. If you didn't already know, Manscaped now sells beard products. You heard that correctly. The leaders in below the waist grooming changed the game with their Beard Hedger Pro Kit. Now they're going to step further with a brand new handyman, an electric face shaver for a quick and convenient way to achieve a clean shaven look. Whether you're looking to sharpen up your neckline or give your face that smooth finish, the handyman has you covered. Go to manscaped.com, use the code Logan for twenty percent off and free shipping. It's time to go from five o'clock shady to yeah, baby. No one. <laughs> a weird beard so say goodbye to all your stubble trouble with manscaped beard hedger the thing is a juggernaut of fixing faces first off this cordless trimmer has a rotary wheel that gives you 20 hair cutting lengths all with one guard so no more messy drawers full of extra add-ons that's right face grooming doesn't need to be hard get 20 different beard lengths in just one guard the beard hedger is a high-tech piece of art in the travel size package with a long lasting battery universal charging and a strong motor if you're looking something dare i say smoother look no further than manscaped's new handyman face shaver get 20 percent off and free shipping with the code logan at manscaped.com that's 20 percent off with free shipping manscaped.com use the code logan peace back to the show How, what's it like being you bro just like that's what i was gonna ask yeah like <laughs> what's it like waking up looking in the mirror and being like I am Erlen Holland. <laughs> <laughs> I'm him. I'm Legit. him. I never got this question before. <laughs> no, uh, to be honest, it's really nice. <laughs> no, yeah, I can imagine. No, I'm, uh, I'm trying to uh, enjoy my life, uh, enjoy what I do. Uh, 
playing football, of course. Mm. Uh, and yeah, to try to live in the moment, I think uh, is a really nice thing. And uh, really not to try not to think too much of uh, everything that has been said and everything, because obviously a lot of people speak about me. Uh, so uh, what I'm really trying to do is just to live in the moment and to uh, try to enjoy every single day together with my friends, with my family and uh, my closest people. Drown out the noise, stay focused, doing what you love. And you love football. I assume this is the thing you wanted to do ever since you were growing up. Yeah, with my father and uh, and everything. Uh, I he was a former footballer, so uh, it was natural for me to to like football. But I I always felt like I really want to do this. I really want to become better than my my father. Uh, and uh, is your dad pissed? <laughs> you have to ask him. He had a legacy. <laughs> he had a legacy. <laughs> you have to ask him. But really, uh, ever since day one, I wanted to become a f professional footballer. And uh, ever since then, I've been working on it, really. Do you, do you still have fun, though? Like, like, you guys work so hard. Even, honestly, just getting you here for this short amount of time was like an issue. Like, mm. I, I want to take this time to say that uh, we've assigned Erling Holland as uh, an official prime athlete, which is Woo! unbelievable. I uh, can't believe it. And, and yeah, it, really but it took, it. it took so long. Part of the reason yeah. was because... We couldn't find a window to to actually get to you. Yeah, you're a busy guy, I man. Can I can fix this. Fix it, please. Sorry, bro. Maybe, honestly, <laughs> or maybe we're not the number one podcast. <laughs> it's just, it's, I just say it's it. It's so debatable. I, just, well, I like the way it sounds. Yeah, you can just, yeah, it's good now, I think. Yeah, but, yeah. But, but yeah, do you, do you still have time to have fun? Because we, we, we got you now, but you, you work so hard. And you're still a kid. You know, you, you're so young. Yeah, of course, it's life has changed, you know, from when I lived in Norway, just playing around with my friends in the farmers league, <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, of course, it's changed. My life has changed every day. I have to meet up to train, uh, to do meetings, to do the treatment and everything. Uh, so, of course, it's changed. But yeah, it's still fun. Uh, I said it before uh, the day I don't have fun anymore. I don't think I will play because I want to do fun things in my life because life is short. So I want to try to make the most out of it. And, uh, and can, to you, can you stop now, please? <laughs> For Arsenal's sake. Yeah, please, man. Just, just, just stop enjoying today. it. Legit, today is great. Okay. No more goals. <laughs> no. What, would you, what would you do if you stopped playing football today? You stopped having fun. What else would you do? Yeah, I, I, I get this question. Like, what would you do if you weren't a footballer? Oh, you I, get this question. Yeah, so yeah, a yeah. Shitty question. Yeah, no, you get it all the time. YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I would uh, right now. If it would happen today, I would move back to my hometown and probably work on a farm or something. Uh, back you know, to the uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, something like that. Uh, because, but it, w it would never be in my mind because, yeah, because I got I'm young and I still got so many years left. I mean, you're built for it, dude. You're you're a massive human being. You can kick the ball at a thousand miles an hour, <laughs> yeah. and you're a lefty, yeah, which is insane. Well, and two he can sh shoot from both, right and left. Uh, Ambidextrous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? What? Do you have a favorite foot? <laughs> nah, that sounds so weird. <laughs> clip it. Clip no, it. no. <laughs> clip it. <laughs> That's a question. Do you, Do you have a favorite foot? He's <laughs> like, uh. <laughs> You and your questions, man. <laughs> Yo, we need it more often. Yeah, we need more often. <laughs> you want a job, we got you. Bro. Oh, <laughs> You're like a goalie's worst nightmare, I feel like. I, I was a goalie today against you once, twice. It sucked. <laughs> yeah, it's horrible. Yeah, I, I try I try to do my best on exactly this. My job on the on the pitch is of course this. I'm a striker. Uh, and especially in this Manchester City team, uh I'm the one that's gonna finish the the chances and and everything. So <laughs> that's my job to do what <laughs> I did against you today as well. You know, yeah, yeah. Uh, to finish the actions and to finish to finish the attacks. So uh, yeah, I'm 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 enjoying it. You ever you ever talk shit on the field? You ever try to get in your opponent's head, play some mind games? I mean, there's a bit of talking here and there, but uh, I, I don't do a lot. Uh, to be honest, I try to to focus on myself. Uh, but of course, there's a little bit uh, uh, shit talking uh, here and there. Uh, yeah. But that's a part of the game. Yeah. What I, if I, it, I don't even remember now uh, <laughs> how it is or yeah. whatever. It just it just comes. What if it turns into something like these two guys both get in the ring, 
could you ever see yourself stepping into the ring and going up against like a Mbappe or just <laughs> not anybody specifically, but just like you know anybody? Like, could you ever? <laughs> no, I, uh, I'm not. I'm not really into fighting, uh, to be honest. Uh, I prefer just to speak. Uh, so no, not really. No, I'm not really to fight and uh, do that kind of things. No, I like a bit of shit talking, of course, but uh, but uh, I don't fight. No. Do you, do you watch any of the fighting? Do you ever watch UFC or boxing or anything like that? I, I watch. I watch a little bit, uh, not a lot, uh, like others in, especially in UK. It's it's so popular. Yeah, uh, you yeah. know, with boxing and and everything. I watch a little bit, uh, but I'm not like crazy into it. Stay up all night to watch uh, to watch a game and. Uh, these kind of things it's better if they come to 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 Europe so the game is in is in night so I can watch it you know yeah yeah uh, well talking about fine we actually have a prime card <laughs> <laughs> October 14th do you do you know about that KSI fighting Tommy Fury yeah yeah, yeah. I've uh, I've heard of it and uh, just I've pretend seen... JJ's not in the room who do you think is gonna win <laughs> The other guy. Yo! So, <laughs> oh, I hope you score no more goals <laughs> with either foot. <laughs> with either foot, yeah. I saw the the what's it called the the press, press conference. Yeah, I saw kicked off a bit there. I think <laughs> just a little, just a least. little. Uh, yeah. John Fury, man, he's a bit of a lunatic. Yeah, I saw. I saw. <laughs> yeah, so, there, there's yeah. some. There, I have to be honest. There's some. There's some real oddballs in England, just in yeah. general, like. And John Fury is a good example. Like, yeah. you're living in Manchester now, and the city is obviously super passionate. Uh, do you like it here? I'm sure you like the fans. Where does that passion come from? Yeah, I, I like. I always liked English football uh, ever since I was young to watch Premier League and everything. That's why I also really like to to be here to feel the kind of uh, because in Norway it's really popular with uh, with English football. So I was I was always watching it. Uh, but yeah, I like it here. It's. Uh, my life, as I said, it's been changing a lot. So uh, I'm not doing a lot. I I train. I get my treatment. I go home, relax with my friends and family. You know, uh, I don't do a lot uh, because I have to rest as well because there's so many games mm. and uh, and everything. So uh, I try to to live most quiet as possible. Uh, and then um, yeah, the game comes and I have to be ready. Well, do, do I have to be play, prepared and everything. Like, any video games or do you watch anything just to like? Decompress. Decompress. Yeah. yeah, I I do these normal things as well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I've been playing a bit on my, uh, you know, up uh, in the years I've been playing FIFA. Uh, I actually play a bit of Minecraft with my friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> I actually do that. Uh, I love it. You know, just to have the have the headset with the mic on. Uh, they sit back in Norway and I sit in England and. Just basically that's talking about shit. nothing, you know. That's yeah, exactly. Dude, tell yeah. tell him how much money he can make if he started streaming Minecraft. Bro. Oh <laughs> my! Gosh. Could you ever? Could you ever do it? Streaming? I'm I'm not into streaming. Uh, but my friends have been speaking a little bit about it. We actually play pro clubs. I think you also been playing. Yeah, yeah, pro, pro clubs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Pro clubs. Are, that's when the deep conversation. That's really when goes. it gets heated, bro. <laughs> that's when you're like, yo, this player sucks, yeah, bro. Yeah, pass yeah. me the ball. Come on, stop shooting. Stay in the fence and all of that. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. But yeah, I play video games and uh, these kind of things. I watch some series. Uh, I heard there was a rumor that uh, you used to watch KSI. Yeah, I watched a little bit of them when I was younger. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah me yeah, and my yeah, friends, yeah. Uh, him and uh, who other was it? Your brother? Yeah, comedy. Comedy uh, shorts gamer. Shorts gamer. He yeah. doesn't know him as Deji. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he knows him as comedy, comedy shorts, shorts gamer. gamer. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I watched. Uh, I watched a bit on YouTube uh, when I was younger, um, as many others. Uh, Road to Division One and these kind yep, of things. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <I'm> gassed. <laughs> So yeah, I uh, I knew who it was for a long time. So uh, so yeah, but streaming, hmm, I don't know. We'll see in the future. Maybe, maybe I'll do a bit of streaming. Maybe that's what you could do if you weren't playing so playing soccer. If you ever go back to professional Norway, streamer. Yeah, professional streamer. Maybe. <laughs> what about what about the what about the dark side of things? You ever get tempted to go to a nightclub? <laughs> or like, you know what I'm saying? Or like, or here in Manchester, go down to the old Wellington. You know, the oldest pub here, 1554. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I have a summer break on around a month. I uh, eat some bad food as well. Like, uh, <laughs> like what? Like what? No, I said it before, a kebab pizza. I love oh, it. It's so good. Uh, it's uh, for me maybe 
best thing that ever happened when it comes to food. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, but yeah, I uh, in the vacation, I try not to, I try to relax and just to like completely relax. Don't do a lot of things because we've got like basically 10 months uh, focusing on performing on the pitch, you know, so mm. uh, you have to have a bit, a couple of weeks where you don't do a lot of things, but really to go out on a nightclub uh, today, you don't really, I couldn't be asked really to to go out and, and do that. Uh, yeah. I don't see the, the fun of it right now. I'm training, I'm focusing on the games and everything. So nightclubs I can do in the in the summer, yeah. As a high level athlete, um, is do you have like a recovery or even just like a training secret weapon? Is there something you've discovered that you can turn athletes onto as one of the best in the world? Uh, yeah, I um, movement uh, training, kind of biomechanics. Mm. Uh, I'm a bit into uh, to use your body and to to make it work uh, and function in the best possible way. I'm really into that. Um, and also, uh, I think sleep is the most important thing in the world. Yeah, uh, it. Damn it. It's always sleep. Yeah. So to sleep, uh, good, just uh, simple kind of things, uh, blue blocking glasses, uh, shutting out all well, the signals and everything. That's, that's uh, what I'm talking about. In the bedroom and everything, uh, I think it's really important. What time you put those glasses on? Normally three hours before bed. Oh my God. See, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> so these kind of things, um, small really, is, I think like to do a lot of things is is not good, but to do small things every single day for a longer period, I think really pays off. Uh, do you have one of those uh, rings that tracks your sleep? No, never. I never used it. They can make you kind of get in your head. Cause I you, know. That's why I don't want to do it. Yeah. If you think you had a good night sleep. And then you check. And you're like. Ah, what it like gamifies it a little bit. You're like, I'm trying to beat my top score. Yeah, kinda, like, yeah, yeah. So well, I mean, that's kind of what I've got. So I've got this whoop thing that yeah, yeah, basically yeah. tracks my sleep and see how much recovery I get. What's your resting heart rate? So it's around. Oh, I can actually find out right now, real quick. That's the one I like to look at because I uh, suck at sleeping. Yeah, I, I, uh, I don't want to look at this because you can <laughs> feel when you slept, slept good. Yeah, uh, but and also overthinking if, because some uh, is a some, dangerous thing. If I sleep poor or i think i sleep poor but my ring tells me i slept good i'm like all right then we good <laughs> but then you have the opposite way as well it's yeah it's yeah, a problem yeah i just discovered these things recently i i think for this camp it's going to change my entire camp i have a deviated septum and it's a piece of tape you put on your nose that opens up your nostrils dude this is like i think it's god's greatest creation like it is changed my life for training and sleeping what both. is it doing it opens up your nostrils Close. like your airway oh yeah and, and like i have a deviated septum so i can't really breathe through my nose like in general yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm sure you know like yeah, yeah yeah nostril breathing is the way to go when you're doing sports then you should try to tape your mouth then <laughs> at night <laughs> no yeah now, why right not now. or when you train <laughs> Right now on the podcast, <laughs> it would be a bit no, no, difficult. No, no, no. You're no, right. but seriously, you're no. Right. I've actually done that. I've actually bought uh, tape to help, like, Me make too. sure I'm not a mouth. I have it. I sleep with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. The, that's, that's the new thing. thing. That's no, hat, that's huh? the new thing right now. So you yeah. see a mouth tape for sleep. They as do, well. yeah. and then you breathe through your nose. So you tape your nose open, tape your mouth shut, and just breathe through your nose. With open. the tapes on on its way, we're gonna give it a shot. Uh, my resting heart rate was 46, by the way. Nice. Yeah. Sure. Yours is probably like 30. It's so 30. low. Yeah, yeah. It's it's so the whoop low. would think he's dead. <laughs> yeah. It just says GG's. <laughs> <laughs> what about like cold plunge or like uh, sauna, that type of stuff? You believe in any of that stuff? Yeah, I do. I have it at my home. So I try to do it not every single day, but almost every single day. Uh, sauna, steam room. Uh, Ice bath, I think, I think it's, I think it's good. Has a lot of benefits, but also I think there's some negative things about it. Well, explain, because I've been thinking this recently about the ice bath. No, because there's in this world today, there's so much things going on, you like, know, with everything. There's so much stress in the world and everything, and ice bath is a stressful thing when you think of it. You yeah. know, to go into five degrees or whatever, it's a stressful thing. So. If you have a lot of stress in your life and then you're going to do something that's more stressful. See, I always thought... It depends. It's really individual, you know, yeah, if it's good, if it works for you. Uh, I think it works really well for me to recover my legs 
that's what I need yeah. to have uh, to recover and be ready. Um, but yeah, it's really individual uh, for who and uh, and when and everything. I feel like the thought process there is the <clears throat> that like exposure to that level of stress in like a, a, a daily regimen kind of prepares you for other stressors outside of it. So there's a lot of people that do it in the morning and then they say the rest of my day, like there's nothing that could get at me that's going to bother me because I've already shocked my system to prepare for it. Yeah, That's kind of like the thought process. And also I think it's a really good mental training. If you think of the mental part to go into uh, in the morning, to go into your whole body five minutes in ice bath, I think it's an amazing thing to, to get stronger in your mind. Uh, but... I think there's pros and cons and we're into individuals so it's uh, really difficult to say one thing because something might work Everyone's better for you so and different. exactly so it's diff difficult to speak for everyone yeah. you know as i've grown into uh an older young man uh i think about what i want to like do with my life and <clears throat> everyone has a different answer and you just got a tattoo on your back that says legacy yeah. right <laughs> and that's a that's a word i float around a lot and i think one way to carry on a legacy like a true legacy is raise kids who are better than you so i joked earlier about your dad being pissed that well you're better than him <laughs> but but i'm sure he's so proud of yeah. you dude like like just stoked because he has a legacy himself and he's able to carry it on in you mm. is he just beaming at the young man you've become yeah, I, I think so, and I, and, I, and I hope so, of course. Uh, he said, uh, oh my God. Oh, I don't like him. <laughs> no, but of course, of course he's proud. Uh, and uh, he played in Manchester City as well, so it's even more special. Uh, and uh, I would just think of myself. Uh, one day I will have kids, and uh, if he would become a better footballer than me, if I would think of this now. Uh, Impossible. <laughs> it would. It would be an unrealistic uh, think, uh, thinking because not a lot of people get professional footballers and especially not at the, at the highest level, you know. So uh, I hope he's proud. Uh, I hope I, I made him and my mom proud. Uh, I try and do every single day. And uh, yeah. Do you have any dreams of uh, America? No, I, I didn't think that. <laughs> no, I, like, I hate it there. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, I haven't, I haven't been a lot, to be honest. I've been two times. Uh, where Where to? I was in 2016 visiting my with a friend, his family uh, in uh, Arizona, I think. Tuscaloosa. Uh, Arizona, <laughs> and then I was uh, last year preseason in Houston. Oh, Texas. You That's have somewhere your else. Experience? Oh, you Are those two places? <laughs> Arizona <laughs> and Houston. No, no but, but I've never been back? there. <laughs> I've, I've never like been Erling, there. No, no, New York City. No, no. No, I've, I've never, I've never been there. Uh, to be honest, uh, and so it's uh, difficult to say. But you know. Uh, I'm 23, so people are going over to the MLS, playing football there. I never thought of it because I'm young. I'm I'm playing in Man City, you know, and I, I j basically just came here and everything. You're just so f he's so focused on like what's in front of him. He's also 23. No, for sure. Know? Like, 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 are you ever worried that the demons are going to come in? Age 24, age 25, maybe you trying to go to some nightclubs because you weren't able to do it when you were young. <laughs> Those damn no. nightclubs. No. <laughs> They're coming. <laughs> They're no. Bro. No, I'm not. I'm not worried been. about that because I'm a footballer and in 10 years, I'm 33. And then I've got my last couple of years with football. So I'm not worried about this uh, and anything. I've got good people around me. Uh, and uh, I've got 10 months, as I said, a year. I have to focus. And then um, there's one month off where I can relax. And then there's one month to prepare for the new season. So... So you that's just how it will be for days. the next 10, 15 you got years. one month a year. Where where do you go for that one month? Do you go back to Norway? Or yeah. Like, what do you do? Yeah, I go a little bit to Norway, to my family. Uh, I go, I like the sun. I love the sun. So uh, wouldn't you not go to, is there sun there sometimes? Is that, because well, no, like here no in Manchester, I've, I've never, I don't even think they've ever had a sun. Yeah, it's, it's been great <laughs> the whole time. Like It's a bit like this in Norway as well. Uh, one day it's sun, the other day it's rain. Uh, but I still like it. I'm from there. Uh, so I I go there, but I like it in the sun. So I love the sun. I haven't been there yet. I I'm, I went I'm, to I know you did. Yeah. I went to Oslo. Yeah, and I believe Bergen. Bergen, yeah, Bergen. Tromsø, 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 Tromsø. Yeah. We went way north to try to see some whales, some orcas. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the part of Norway that we were in, the sun never actually crossed the horizon. Yeah, dude. yeah. So twenty four seven. 
Well, but I don't. Oh, under, I yeah. I just don't understand. I didn't understand because you'd have two hours of like runoff sunlight, mm-hmm. and I it affected me. It, like the, the sun never <laughs> it came up. The sun didn't rise. Like you know when you're like, well, the sun, the sun will rise rises tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. No, no, it <laughs> no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Six months. I will say. When we went back, yeah, because yeah. we launched Prime there, oh my, that God. was like one of the greatest days that ever. That was insane. Oh, so yeah. it depends on the season, but during the dark times of the year, the dark ages. yeah, the dark it's ages. it's really dark. It's uh, in my hometown as well. It's like uh, from nine to four, sun or light. It's not sun. It's it's light. Uh, so uh, and then up in the north, there's in the winter there's no sun, and then in the summer there's sun twenty four seven. You know, so it's uh, uh, yes. <laughs> kind of best of both worlds uh, there. But uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's an interesting country because up the way north, it's like that, and it's a lot of different. Oslo is uh, is beautiful. Uh, for me, my hometown is uh, it's also beautiful in uh, in in its own way. You know, with the farms and everything. Uh, around so uh you really for me like it, the farms, don't you? yeah i like, like it farms. no but it's very like it. pretty no there's also the the lights the uh, northern, northern lights, lights. Northern, yeah. northern lights it's yeah. it's a be- it's beautiful it's nature beautiful. in uh, in norway and they also have uh some studs some real stars that come out of norway for as small of a country mm-hmm. as it is you yeah. got you got that kaigo oh yeah mm-hmm. kaigo yeah. Yeah. yeah have you uh, you know kaigo personally no i don't know him but we've got a lot of uh yeah athletes as well you know uh hovland uh, the golfer is uh is doing amazing. You got Rude in, uh, in tennis, also amazing. And don't forget Odegaard is also yeah, a yeah, yeah, fantastic yeah. player. He plays for Arsenal fantastic. as the captain. Uh, <laughs> One of the best. So we've got a lot of uh, good uh, athletes uh, from a small country, and and that's that's also a really nice thing. Well, I was gonna ask. So, were you quite good at like athletics as a kid? Like, would you do like the hundred meters, two hundred meters? Yeah, I, I went. I went on it. My mother, my mother did it, uh, and my uh, grandma as well. Uh, they were doing a bit of, I don't know, room, uh, sprinting or something. Uh, I think she actually still has the club record for for girls. My my grandma. So uh, I come from a like a uh, sporty family. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I I did. I went on it. Jumping, I did. Uh, I was High doing. Jumping. Uh, no, no, like uh, on long length, jump. yeah, like long on the on the fl- triple um, jump, oh, triple to, jump. In, to the sand, long jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I did that. I did sixty meter, uh, just sprinting straight ahead. So I did, I did some stuff. I I went on a lot of things, handball as well. I, I went a bit on handball. golf, yeah, football. Heck. Yeah, so I went on. Uh, Wait, you say quite golf some as things. well? Yeah, golf a little bit you as just well. Do all sports, bro. <laughs> good at I mean, bro, yeah. again, look at how he's built. Yeah. <laughs> so how did you land on soccer then? Or fo- always. Oh, oh, you mean football, bro? <laughs> sorry, sorry. I thought. <laughs> no, it I, is. and it's gonna reflect upon me too. <laughs> I was in the chair. No, I was. I was always uh, into football the most. Uh, it was always natural for me to choose football. I was. I was good in handball as well. Uh, but it was always natural for me to choose ha- football. It was more fun. I was better. Imagine he'd so, become a professional so. handballer. <laughs> no, but you'd, you'd be the best there too. Handball is crazy. Just, nobody's bowls nobody's talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, there's no podcast. There's no problem. It's an Olympic sport. Sure it is. So is the handballers so is are commenting ball. on this Instagram, on this episode right oh, now. No, who are they? <laughs> who are they? Lewis <laughs> Howes, bro. Lewis Howes played handball. Is he, was he like a podcaster? Yes. Yeah, I don't want. Yeah, I'm gonna kick you off. <laughs> do, do you ever look at TikToks of yourself? No, I don't have TikTok. You don't have TikTok, so you no. don't look at all the like no. montages of you yourself. No. Oh, what about on good. YouTube compilations? No, no. Of all the goals you've scored. I know my goals, yeah, but uh, <laughs> but I, I will not go home after this now to search on my name on TikTok to see if there's any videos of me walking on the street. No, I will not do that. That makes I'm one not, of us. I'm not that kind of person. That's exactly what we're doing. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. When I get back, I'll replay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the mirror like, yes, I'm him. <laughs> I'm the guy on the screen. How many times did you watch your Tommy temper knock? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Too many times. Today. How many times today? <laughs> So you're never watching film of yourself or critiquing how you move or the plays or anything? No, I, 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 I'm not into it. As I said, I try to live in the moment. I try to not focus on things I cannot do anything with. Uh, and I also don't like to watch me play the game, you know, to watch uh, after the game. I try to just forget it. Of course, if I 
scored five goals in the game, I would think of it the, the day <laughs> after, of course. Uh, but uh, but I I try and really not to f focus on the past. I go, I try to focus on the future and just to attack the future uh, with all my energy and my focus uh, to become a better version of, of myself. Where did that come from? Because that's incredible, dude. Hearing you say that, like it's inspiring and I can see why you're as successful as you are at such a young age. But I think that's a little uncommon, especially in a day and age of social media and just media in general where like everything is watchable, especially when you're yeah. having amazing moments like you are. Like these, these moments are, the people in the stands will remember for the rest of their life. Mm -hmm. But was it one of your parents that instilled that focus on the future and or the present and the future or how did that happen i don't i don't know i i think i always had it um where i come from in norway we are like really humble like uh, no it's it's a bit like don't think you are something kind of a bit mentality mm. uh i like to go a bit over that and just to don't care too much uh but I don't know where I have it from. I, I think it's just my my passion for football that made this kind of uh, mindset uh, with the focus, with the because you got you get one chance as in football. In twelve years, it might be finished. It might be finished. So I have twelve years left to to do uh, to do my my football career, and then after it's it's done. You know. So uh, so uh, that's why I think my fa my my focus and everything comes from. So since you are so humble, then I have to ask you, because just listening to you, it sounds like, you know, you love the game. You have this amazing skill set and you have become and are becoming this entity in, in football. Uh, do you like being famous? It's a huge part of it. I mean, there's, of course, pros and cons. I will not complain about my life. I'm a famous person. You know, people know who I am. I'm a tall guy with uh, long blonde hair. Yeah. Uh, most people uh, recognize me and everything uh, on the street. Uh, but it's it's a difficult question, you know, because I don't, I don't want to complain about anything in my life, you know. No, uh, but but you, of course, you definitely lost your privacy. Like you can't walk down the street early without, you know, people yeah. recognizing you. And yeah, you know, you, and you lose, you lose certain kind of things in your life. Uh, but again, you just have to try to do the best thing out of it, you know. Uh, after this now, I will go home to my house. I will be completely alone in peace uh, and relax, uh, eat a nice dinner and everything. And Come uh, pizza? <laughs> no. no, not now, now. <laughs> but that was in the summer. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, so I'm not, I don't want to try, I don't want to make it to a negative thing, but I, I, I can't go, I can't do much anymore. Yeah, okay, you're but, a good but, kid. But surely you must like listen to some like Harlan chants, like at home. Surely. We mean Harlan chants. It's a Harlan, Harlan. Oh, the song you mean. He just plays it when he wakes up in the morning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I heard the song, yeah. Uh, but it's not like uh, I have it in my car on my way home now. Bro, but, bro uh, I just got the weirdest thought in my mind of like all of this being a front. He leaves, it's in his car yeah, playing. Yeah. He goes home, watches every YouTube video, every TikTok. All his Not goals. goals against all <laughs> yeah. Goes straight to the nightclub, orders, yeah. orders a kebab pizza, like all of it. Do you have an accomplishment you're most proud of? Yeah, winning the treble with Man City now. Yeah uh was a huge thing uh champions league has been my my dream ever since i was a kid and uh, to do that mm -hmm. i started to cry directly you know when they blew the whistle in the end uh yeah. was a really proud moment uh arsenal's dream as well for me <laughs> <laughs> yeah we've, we're still dreaming <laughs> was still i dreaming. was a <laughs> so <dream>. so <laughs> so proud moment for me uh to accomplish that and uh and yeah, I mean, there's many, this now, but also, you know, when I was younger, when I signed for certain clubs, knowing that I achieved to become a professional footballer is also a huge thing, you know, uh, having, uh, being young, trying to reach something and then there's a club that wants to buy you and give you salary. It's a huge thing, you know, so it's been steps all the way in my career that I'm really proud of. Uh, uh, but now latest uh, the treble of course and the whole season with Manchester City my first season in England and everything together was a fantastic thing and I'm I'm so happy for it it's 
freaking amazing, dude. Yeah. Like, like, congrats. Like, I, again, you're just so young. <laughs> like, when if you could zoom out and 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 look at your life, like, say, say you, we could fast forward 15 years and look at the career of Erling Holland, and um, at one point be like, oh, this was his peak, right? Let's say, let's call that your 100 percent when you're at your best. What level do you think you're at now compared to the best you could possibly be in the sport of football? Dear God. <laughs> <laughs> what if he's like 50%? <laughs> the, the thing is in football, it's, there's a dark side of it as well with injuries. In every sport it is. Uh, I think this season will be difficult. I played 57 games last season uh, in a really short period of time. Uh, so um, my main goal for this season is try to get to stay injury free. Yeah. If I will be injury free, um, I will perform. I will get in shape. I will uh, play good football. So uh, that's my main goal, and that's really been my main goal uh, every season. I had some injuries uh, here and there, uh, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> if you look, if I'm gonna look back, I think. Uh, I'm planning on or people are being in the prime in like seven years. So I've got great time to to get to, at my best level. You got seven uh, years to you think? Not even in his prime. Uh, no, I'm 23. I'm still insane. young. So um, I still have to work hard. I have to stay humble. I have to uh, don't think I am too much because uh, there's still so many good players out there and new people that want to, to become better. So I have to train smarter. I have to perform at my best when I have to perform. Uh, and I have to be, be my best version of myself. Um, well, how do you, how do you feel when you know players try to tackle you and they end up injured themselves? <laughs> well, the thing is, we laugh, but it happens quite a lot. Like intentionally trying to take. Another well, they're trying out. to tackle him, and they just end up coming off way worse. <laughs> yeah. He's just like. Like a brick. <laughs> <laughs> it's it happened, Norwegian yeah. blood, dog. <laughs> it, happened, it happened a couple of times, actually. But yeah, as well, tackles are also a part of football. That's why there's also a lot of injuries because it's a wild sport. You know, you never know. You run 35 kilometers per hour and a guy comes from the side and tackles you. It's, it's a dangerous sport, you know. Uh, and that's why there's also injuries. Uh, but also that's the beautiful side of the game as well. Uh, you never know what's going to happen next. Suddenly the... The centre back takes the ball and shoot it in the top of the net. That's the beautiful yeah. of football as well. Uh, you you never know what's gonna happen in the next move, and that's also what I also love about it. Maybe there, maybe there wasn't an answer to my question about you know the level at which you think you're at currently, where you're gonna be. Uh, but I, I'm curious. Have you seen um, the Last Dance on Netflix? It's it's Michael Jordan's yeah, documentary. A, a little bit of it. I haven't seen everything actually, uh, to be honest. But I heard it's so good <sighs> and. It, I'm planning on seeing it. You should you should watch it, bro. Not that you need the inspiration, but like with someone like you who has this like endless amount of potential, the thing that I noticed about Michael Jordan was that he had no ceiling as far as how good he could get. Like like every one of his peers capped at a point, you know, they 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 peaked. MJ like kind of just didn't. He, he kept getting better and better and better. And maybe that's the answer, bro. Maybe you're just gonna be better, better every year I forever. Hope so. I you hope know? so. <laughs> I mean, you have you have a crazy life ahead of you, man. And we're we're glad we got you here. We're glad that you're on the prime team. Um, and congrats on everything, Erling. Like, thank you. Yeah, yeah. You've given us your time today, and yeah, man, it's been we're nice. very appreciative. I heard you're not gonna be in Manchester for the uh, fight on October 14th, which is a shame. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. Uh, I haven't checked my schedule this far ahead. But, I have. Uh, I have. <laughs> and, and you won't be here. Do you, uh, do you have any upcoming goals for this year, the next five years? Like, what do you want to do? Uh, Surely you want to let Arsenal at least win <laughs> one cup. Right? One cup. No, nah, I think build on what i am been doing. Uh, you want to build on the trouble. <laughs> this brother wants to build on the trouble, man. What's the point? <laughs> Allow it. No, I mean, as I said, I'm still young. I, I can still develop a lot. Uh, so uh, to keep the good people around me, to enjoy my life, to enjoy my life uh, and uh, stay happy, smile as much as I can and to try to uh, develop as an even better footballer in person. Self-aware, focused, humble, ladies Norwegian. and gentlemen. Norwegian. <laughs> it's early Holland. Dude. Thank you awesome. again.
Guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure to subscribe to this channel and follow this guy's journey. It's going to be a crazy ride. And uh, you caught him here first on Impulsive. <laughs> All right. Peace.